Hey guys, how you doing? Um, thought I'd do another video here today. It's the October 8th, 2018 again. Um, I wanted to talk about probably one of the good things about uh, being like a computer guy and a tech guy and having plenty of other parts on hand. Um, now this computer here that I do these videos on, this is just a 6-core AMD system with like 16 gigs of RAM. I think it's a FX6300 or something like that. I forget exactly which chip we put in here, but I know it's one of the 6-core chips. And, you know, it does a job pretty well. Um, use it you know, just for these videos and then um, just some basic stuff, nothing fancy. But, um... What I wanted to talk to you guys about is I was sitting at my main computer yesterday and uh, out of nowhere, my uh, trusty monitor here, and I'll get it up here and I'll hold it up for you guys. It's my AOC 27 inch flat panel. Bought that in about 2012-ish, thereabouts. Um, yeah, it's just I was looking at my Facebook page yesterday after I got done changing the oil in my car. I had updated the maintenance log for my car, and then I looked at my Facebook page, and out of nowhere, the screen got like white and gray pixelated, and then it just quit. So of course, you know, being a tech that I am, excuse me. Being the tech that I am, um, you know, you always, you go try to eliminate the small stuff first. Check your connections, check your power connections, all that good stuff. And that was all good. So I hooked it up to another computer. The exact same thing. Um, so it's an indicator to me that Something's either wrong with the backlights, or there's a uh, you know a main circuit board in there that's bad, needs a replacement. And uh, at any rate, um, I'm going to order up a new one because, believe it or not, guys, even in 2012, I don't think I paid but about maybe $139 for that monitor, brand new in a box. Uh, it was when I did my first video when we were living in that first townhouse. I actually bought it there. So I got about probably six to seven years out of this thing. Uh, used every single day. Uh, multiple hours a day. So I know the backlights and the monitor are probably old and tired. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I opened it up if there's you know cheap Chinese capacitors in there that are just worn out. So it's going to the recyclers. I'm not even going to go bother trying to get into fixing it. I mean, if I had the electronic skills of a, let's say, like an X-Ray Tony or a Max Arcade, you know, those guys are, you know, they, they're, you know, what I would, I would call them professionals. They're really good. They know their stuff. Check out their YouTube channels, by the way. They're excellent channels. I love their channels. Phenomenal videos. Um, if I had their level of expertise with electronics, I might open it up and try to save it. But uh, at, the, at this rate, this monitor owes me absolutely nothing. And I had plenty of monitors in my stockpile. So for right now, I have an Acer, just an Acer flat panel 22 inch in there. It's doing the job. It's doing it just fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go on and order up a new monitor this afternoon. And when the new monitor comes in, I'll, buck, I'll break out the cell phone camera and I'll show you some, you know, we'll take some shots of the new monitor. I'll show you how that looks. So, you know, geez, we're almost five minutes already. Uh, you know, bring this video to a, a close here. But uh, just to say, you know, uh, always hang on to spare parts if you have the room or the infrastructure to support it because... You never know when you might need them. Guys, I had no idea that monitor was going to crap out on me like that yesterday, but thank the good Lord, because I do a lot of stuff on the computer. You know, it's not just a, a, web, a, web, a web browsing box for me. I do a lot of stuff. That's why I have a lot of computers. So it's, it's nice to have those spare parts on hand 
in the event that something like this happens. So, you know, take that as a little food for thought. Those of you, if you have a basement or, you know, a, a, you know some garage space or whatever, some heated space, obviously, you don't want to put parts out in extreme heat or extreme cold. Um, you know, you have the infrastructure to support at least having some spare parts around for your computer systems. Those of you that still have, you know, if it's gaming rigs, internet boxes. I know a lot of people are on tablets and stuff today and laptops and whatnot, but if you can have the spare parts and you got the room to keep them in, you know, in your, in your home, uh, definitely do it. Uh, if you like more videos like this, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, those of you that are longtime subscribers, I see we're well over 300 subscribers now. Uh, thank you very much for coming and looking at my videos. It, uh, much appreciation to you. It means a lot. Uh, this channel has been going for five years. Uh, they're not paying me anymore to do videos because I don't have a you know 4,000 hours of view time a month and 1,000 subscribers or whatever the hell the requirements were. But, you know, we're still going to keep making these videos because I find it fun and entertaining more than anything. So you all have a goody-goody, and we'll see you in the next video.